You just bought an Epontes and uh, there is a little plant growing on the side. It's a basil shoot. But what is under the substrate? How is it attached to the main root? So today I will show you. Hi, my name is Remy and I love Nepotes. To make this video easier to follow, I will cut that in three parts. The first one will be what is a basal shoot? The second part would be how the basal shoots are attached to the main stem? And finally, can you force a Nepotes to produce a basal shoot? So a basal shoot is really like uh, the way the bamboo uh, grow themselves. That's a root that will produce a second plant. So uh, it's not uh, from seeds or some cuttings. Uh, it will automatically create, duplicate itself. And the mother plant will be the exact same as the baby plant. So it's a clone. So if your mother plant is a female plant, then it will be a female for the basil. So I was repotting a plant from outside before bringing it inside and uh, it had a lot of basil. So I want to show you how it is when you take all the substrate out, how it's attached and uh, how to really separate them if you want. On the previous video, you saw that uh, I was repotting my plants from outside to come inside the house for winter. And by unpotting it, I spotted a lot of basil. So let's have a look. Okay, so I cleaned a little bit and now we should have a better view. And here is the main root system. So you see, it's really big and the basil shoots is shooting on the side. So that's what you want to separate at the base of the main root system. And you just pull it or cut it it's really up to you, depends how sensitive you are, how sensitive is the plants also. So look at that, that's a big root system. And sometimes you will be lucky, you break a basil and there is a root. So uh, if the basil shoot is already rooted, that's even better. It will uh, bounce back uh, in no time. And here is another one. So, really prolific Ventrata. And this is the main one. There is uh, the main root system. There is one old cut stemmed. So this one, I will let it be. The Gaia uh, has two really tiny basil. Uh, I won't remove them because uh, on this plant, I removed so, so many more that I can really uh, give away or trade or sell. So there is no point. Gaia is totally nuts about basil shoots. So this one has roots, so it will recover way faster. That's great. It's technically two basil, but uh, that will be good enough. Here is my Spatulata spectabilis. Uh, it's probably four years old. Great pictures, uh, really a cool plant to have. And the picture uh, lasts forever. So that's very, very interesting. And on this one, it finally produced a tiny basal shoot here. So that's uh, really great. Uh, even the little leaves are producing uh, tiny pictures. So, uh, Soon I should have some uh, young pitcher out of this one. I have another plant that is way bigger. That's the basil from the burke. So uh, uh, that's really fantastic because finally I will have some lower pitchers. For now I only have uh, uppers. When the plant is vine, you cannot have lower pitcher. That's only uppers. But this basil will produce lower picture. So I can't wait to show you guys uh, the tiny pictures. I have other plants that uh, produced uh, basil shoots. So this one, for example, there is a tiny one here. So 
So that's uh, Nepenthes uh, Brixena. So uh, Low EI by Ventricosa Red. A beautiful, uh, easy going uh, plant, uh, perfect for beginner. Maybe the best one if you have some uh, colder night. And again, this tiny uh, basil, I already removed the previous one. So I cut it and uh, root it, and now look at the plant. So it's still tiny, but uh, really healthy. We have a leaf jump. It was that size at the beginning, but now uh, it's really bigger, and even the pictures are uh, great. But about how to uh, really force it to produce a basil, uh, I never really uh, tried. I heard things. For example, if you force the stem of the plant to be angled, almost laying on the ground, like more than uh, 45 degrees, then it may trigger this uh, reflex to produce a basil. Or you can tip the pot again, more than 45 degrees, and you should uh, expect the same result. But again, I never tried. That's only the theory and what I heard. If you want to know the pros and cons about cutting the basil or cutting the main stem, here is a video for you. Please like and subscribe, it's always helping, and until next time, happy growing. And finally, can you force a Nepenthes to produce a Nepenthes? Ah, produce a better... Ah, and finally... <laughs> Yeah. <sighs>